What the hell do you think you're doing? I'm browsing the internet on my TI-99 4A. TI can't browse the internet. Sure, it's possible. All you need is a Jedi Mat 32K memory expansion and tippy sidecar, or they also have it for the peripheral expansion box, um, and then a Raspberry Pi. And the Raspberry Pi handles the internet and stuff. Um, you also huh. need a browser, which I have a final ground here with Stuart's browser loaded up. So yeah, I can browse the internet. I'll be there. You want to check it out? Sure. All right, so here is the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, all enclosed in this pretty case from iCore64. Here's the Tippy and the Jedi Mat 32K memory expansion. Here's the expansion port. You can plug it directly into the TI, or like I do, plug it into the speech synthesizer. Just makes it a little easier to slide it into the console. Speaking of which, here we are, the TI-99 4A console. Isn't that a beaut? Yeah, let's go ahead and plug it up. Oh yeah, you can also hook up a mouse, believe it or not. You just plug this into the Raspberry Pi. And we're going to plug in Final Grom. It's got Editor Assembler in it. And we're going to load up Stuart's browser. We're going to load up Final Grom. Ooh, Final Grom, neat name. Okay, we're going to press B. Looky there. Yep, we're going to go to dev. Now we're going to load up editor assembler, E. Aha, here we go. Now we're going to load and run Stuart's browser. Type in dsk.browser.internet. Voila. Here we are. In Stuart's browser, you can press the N key on the keyboard. We're going to go ahead and type in wagnerstechtalk.com forward slash ti99 forward slash z.htm. This is a page that I created just for testing out this new browser. Moving the mouse around. Yes, this is cool. Very cool. All right, we're going to just take a quick look at some of these pages here. After all, I did spend oh, maybe three hours trying to format all this stuff. And yeah, that's a web page. Tells you a little bit about TI products. Yes, believe it or not, there's a bunch of them. I just recently reviewed Dragon's Lair for the TI-99 4A. I'll put a link up above in case you're interested in checking that out. I'll also put a link up above for the Tippy. I've got a very long, annoying review. It's about 43 minutes long. So if you really want to watch that, you can. But it goes into excruciating detail. Here are some of our favorite channels to watch. Pause this, take a look. Lots of great stuff. Of course, you won't be able to use your TI to watch YouTube, so sorry about that. All right, so what is Wagner's Tech Talk? Is that what we're going into? Yes, it is. Uh, it tells you a little bit about Wagner's Tech Talk. Well... Apparently you already found it, so I don't think we need to read all of this, so we'll just skip on back. Alright, what else have we got? Alright, we did the YouTube channel, we did that. Um, let's see. We will go to Why the TI. Yes, this goes into a little history of why I like the TI. My mom bought me one for $50 and it changed my life. Okay. Here we go. What else have we got? Our YouTube channel. Uh, this tells you a little bit about the uh, different videos, categories of videos we have on our website. Pause this. I'm sure you really want to see all this. Okay, we'll go back. All right, what else have we got? Um, experimenting? Sure, why the hell not? Let's go in here. Okay, we'll type in a name. Does this do anything? Probably not. I'm going to put John Doe. How about that? So you type something in and you press enter after you're done. Otherwise, your mouse isn't going to move until you hit enter. 
just a little tip there for the newbies. We're going to hit go. And look, up in the URL here, you'll see the parameters John, FN equals John Doe. And now we're going to go to Stuart's website and take a look at a little bit about the browser itself. It's a, it's a highly functional browser for being, you know, running on this almost 40 year old computer. Um, it does have some of its own tags and stuff. Here's a little screenshot of the different commands. You can pause or, or visit his site if you want to read all that. Here's some example pages. Uh, this is from uh, myti99.com. You definitely want to check that out if you have one of these. Uh, but here's some interesting stuff for the nerdy type like myself. We have uh, the 99 markup language, all the different tags and stuff that you can put into your HTML page, or 99ML page, I should say. Also, you can do stuff like playing sounds. See all the sounds there? Of course, I don't remember any of those notes. I haven't been in the band in a long time. I've forgotten how to play uh, or read music. So anyway, you can do all kinds of neat stuff. Hyperlinks over graphics. Um, oh, yeah, 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 neat stuff. Text input, submit. This is great if you want to have a back-end server do some stuff. Speaking of which, we'll take a look at that in a little bit on the my TI-99 page. Now we're going to visit uh, my uh, custom page or custom site for the TI. So we're going to go over here. And yes, these are all the files that I've created to be able to show you what this browser can do. We'll go ahead and load up a page, click Edit, and voila, here we go. You'll notice the 99ML markup language. That's the equivalent of your HTML tag on a modern browser. Now, keep in mind this is a nearly 40-year-old computer. As such, you can't put all the tags that you might want in here, but some of the more basic stuff works great. Okay, so now we're going to go to the links page. And on the links page, I have different links that I was able to find for different TI-99 websites. So I put them in here. And this is the page that you see when you first open the browser. We'll go back. Uh, to do that, hold down the function in the up arrow or down arrow, and it keeps a history of the last five URLs that you visited, which is very handy. There's not a back button, so that's how you want to do it. Ah, looky here, a big ogre. Ooh. These are some pretty cool graphics. I'm sure someone spent a lot of time and a lot of graph paper putting this thing together. That's pretty neat. All right, uh, if I could just click the damn nose. There we go. All right, got it. Now we're going to go on to the next page. Woo, ouch. Not too exciting. Okay, and we'll click here and go back. And we are going back. There we are. Uh, maybe I should just hit the function key here and see if I can go back. Ah, links. There we go. Press enter. Now we're going back. Uh, let's take a look at Stuart's date and time on his server. Okay. Ah, it's early. All right. Now we'll go to the TI logo. Another graphic. Very cool. Yeah, we'll click here for a short history of the TI 994A. There will be a quiz on it later, so be sure and pay attention. Read all that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, you're not reading. Yeah. Oh, you can press Z to go down, or Q to go back up, or we could just click here and go back. Neat. All right, let's uh, check out the pinouts for the TMS 9900 processor. That's the brain of the TI. So we're going to go in there and take a look. Mm hmm. I don't know what any of this really means. A VCC, that's your power, I believe. Where's ground? I don't see ground. Is there ground in here? Yeah, probably. 
It's usually G and D, I would think, but I don't know. All right, so anyway, we will now go play on myti99.com. And if you wind up getting one of these uh, configurations with Stuart's browser, you definitely want to check out myti99, probably the first place you want to visit. All right, so we'll type in our screen name and press Enter. Boom. All right, I'm going to type in my pin, but since it shows it in the URL, I am not going to show that in the video. All right, we're going to play chess. Uh-huh. And let's see, I have some open games, so I'm going to go to Show My Games. There we go. And let's see. It's my turn. No, it's their turn. Well, I guess I can show you their turn. And let's see, this is the game I'm playing with Corey, I believe, and uh, he's whooping my butt. So we're going to not show this anymore. We're going to go back home because I'm not doing so well. All right, let's see. Oh, group chat. Yeah, let's do that. So we're going to click group chat. And this is where uh, anybody with a tippy or anyone who can access the myti99.com from Stuart's browser can come in here and just type and talk to each other. It's pretty neat. Just dropping in again to say hello. Don't forget to press enter, John. Hey, there you go. Now click post. And we just posted the message so now anyone who goes into this group chat is going to see it very neat all right let's go back to myti99.com one more time and we'll go down here and we'll send Corey a little message just to let him know we're thinking about him hey Corey if you're watching this we're thinking about you so we're going to go in here and we're going to type our name. My name's John. We're going to type a little message here or subject. Hello. And we'll type a message. Great job, Corey. He is. He's, he's done an amazing job with this site. Special thanks to Jedi Matt as well, who created the tippy. And of course, Stuart, that gave us the browser that makes this all possible. All right, back to the TI99.com, and I think we're done.